Attack on Mika! I'm Ichi. I live alone in Tokyo and work for a small company. Ichi! I never see you with a girl! Why did you go on a date with my daughter, if you feel like it? Kaga-san is my boss who takes good care of me, so I decided to go on a date with his daughter. On the day of the date, I came a little too early. Since when has Ichi-san turned into a streetlight? She was so cute in the pictures, I'm nervous. Um, are you Dad's subordinate? Yes. Nice to... meet... you? I'm Mommy. I hope you'll bring me around all of the places I wanted to visit today. Mommy-san? You are... A, a totally different person from Kaga-san's picture was standing in front of me. Photoshop is scary. I told myself this was something normal nowadays, and to focus on enjoying the date. Oh, we'll be going in here. Huh? Louis Vuitton? Wow, this is so cute! It's been a year since I got my last wallet. It's about time to get a new one. What are you looking at? Aren't you gonna pay for it? Huh? M me Of course! H how much is this? Four hundred dollars? Okay, next door! In the end, I gave in to her pressure. Hey, are you insane? I'm walking on the side of the pavement where cars are passing by. Eh? Oh, sorry. You're so ungentlemanly, aren't you? Now you got me thirsty. Let's get one of those bubbly teas. Uh, alright. You should be leading the date. <sighs> You're so useless. This girl. What kind of bubble tea store is this? Huh? A size? Are you kidding me? This will make my face look big when I take a picture. Could this be? You're so useless. Go get a new one right now, within a minute. She's got a terrible personality, and the S size really is small. All right, it's about time to go home. Can you get a taxi? How many Ben Franklins have I said goodbye to today? And when are we meeting again? Uh, hmm. You know, I'm pretty busy. She might not be the one for me. I'm sorry for Kaga-san, but I won't be... If you're not meeting with me, I'll be telling Dad. Huh? He takes care of you as a boss, right? Is it okay for him to know how poorly you treated me? Poorly treat you? What are you talking about? If I tell him so, that will become the truth, though. Such as how you forcefully brought me into a love hotel. What? No way he'll believe that. A subordinate versus your own daughter. Which would you believe? I froze when she said that. I realized how I couldn't fight back. And I went on a few dates after that. Now, I'd like a gucci -o bag. Come on, put a pep in your step. How long is this going to go on for? However hard I worked, Mami-san would take away all of my Benjamins. I was also losing my motivation for my job. I was making mistakes all over the place. All right, today we'll be going to your favorite sushi restaurant. Huh? How do you know my favorite sushi restaurant? I happened to see you walk in there. It was the first high-end sushi restaurant that Kaga-san brought me to when I first got to Tokyo. It's located on a very good piece of land in Roppongi. I fell in love with the master chef's personality. I went there every month. Sadly, Mommy got her eyes on that place. Not that restaurant. You know what's going to happen when you disobey me. Mmm. Mmm. Now. Fatty tuna and sea urchin. What are these? So delicious. Sorry, chef. We ended up coming. As usual, she had terrible table manners. I was feeling so guilty and sorry for the people there. I couldn't enjoy the food. Meanwhile, Mommy kept stuffing her face as if we were at a cheap conveyor belt sushi place. She kept on taking pictures of the food before she ate them. It was obvious that we were standing out. I'm so full. I'll be off to the bathroom. Pay for everything before I come back. Uh, six hundred dollars? On average, people paid a hundred to two hundred dollars at Taeyandi. But today it was six hundred. My face became pale just by looking at the price, and the chef came over to talk to me. Ichi, are you alright? What's up with that girl you brought? Um, she's actually Kaga-san's daughter. Aha! Just by looking at how stressed out you are, 
I think I get the situation. If that's the case, you can leave the rest to me. Huh? Phew. Okay, I'm heading out. Excuse me, miss. You haven't paid yet. Huh? Uh, the man who was with me would have paid everything. He paid for what he ate. I need you to pay me for what you ordered. It'll be $550. Huh? What are you talking about? Are you saying Ichi left me behind? Now, could you hurry up and pay me? Uh, well, I actually don't have much cash on me. Can't you just let him pay when he comes back next time? Sorry, but we don't do that kind of stuff. If you don't have the money, I'm going to have to make you pay by using your body. I'll be leaving. I wonder what happened after yesterday. Hey, Ichi! Oh, Mami-chan, I hope you enjoyed last night. Of course I couldn't! Terrible things happened to me because you left me behind! He told me to pay him by working! I had to do the dishes! Oh. Not only that, but he removed my nail polish because it was unsanitary! I told Dad what happened, just you wait and see! You're not a true man! You should get castrated! Mami-chan, sorry. I really feel bad about what happened at Teyanti. Uh, too late. You're getting fired! I wanted to make up for what I have done. Let me introduce you to my friend. He is Okamoto, an elite software engineer working at a tech company. I think you two will get along very well. Huh? Whoa, he's super hot. We decided to meet up next week, right? I'll let this guy go instead of me. I'm not asking for your forgiveness. I just wanted to make you happy. Oh, I get it now. In that case, I will acknowledge your sincerity and not get you fired. Although, your salary will be brought down a little. Thank you. Step one, clear. <laughs> I wonder what I should make him pay for me. If he's an elite tech guy, I probably should aim even higher. <laughs> Sorry for being late. Are you Mami-chan? Yes. He's so much cooler than in the picture. Let's go. Did you eat lunch already? Not yet. Well, why don't we get something to eat then? Oh, cars are passing by. You should walk on this side. Perfect escorting. This man is the one Kaboom! Let's call it a day. Yup. See you, Mami-chan. Wait a minute. When will we meet again? Um, sorry. I'll have to think about that. Huh? Why? Uh, at least we can exchange your numbers, right? Sorry. Huh? Uh, w why? Just get your phone out! Why can't you realize he's rejecting you, Mami-chan? Huh? What are you doing here? Okamoto, how was today's date? Um, it definitely was an experience. I mean, I don't know if you could even call it a date. I felt like I was her boyfriend who cheated on her and trying to make up by buying her expensive goods. Haha, <laughs> that's as accurate as it gets. I don't like talking about this in front of her, but not a single thank you for everything I paid. She acted as if it was totally normal for me to pay. It wasn't such a good feeling. You got all the respect from me for doing this so many times. Why are you guys trashing on me like that? I thought I liked you, but you turned out to be a pathetic man! I wouldn't give you my number even if you asked for it! <laughs> this is pretty bad. What are you laughing at, Ichi? I haven't forgotten that you set this trap up! That wasn't my intention, though. I'm really angry! I'll be talking to my dad about this! After all, you are getting fired! That's what you get! Sadly, it was your dad who came up with the idea. Huh? After we went to Teyandi... Oh! Ichi! What a coincidence! Ichi, you seem to be acting odd recently. Are you okay? K kaga san ever since I introduced you to Mommy, you aren't your energetic self. Could Mommy be the problem? Sorry, actually, is that what happened? I'm really sorry about that. I should have realized sooner how you were feeling. Mommy needs to learn a little lesson. And that's where Okamoto comes in. He works for the company we outsource our production system. kaga san asked him, could you go on a date with my daughter and tell me how you felt? Oh, I didn't know that was the whole story. N no way. That's what happened. Sadly, your father isn't on your side. Stop fooling around! How could you be so mean? You two are scumbags playing around with women like that! I'm going to put a curse on you! 
Wow, I'm impressed how you could even say such a thing. No class, no manners. You need to realize that you're just a big child who was never able to grow up, and everyone views you that way. What? Huh? I would actually love to see a man who would consider being in a relationship with you. Of course, probably none of us would, but I'm just worried. How are you going to get along in life like that? Damn it! Mommy Chan had lost her support from her father and realized that we were feeling sorry for her. She went home crying and complaining. At last, I got to tell her the truth! You must have been holding in a lot. A couple of days later, how's Mommy Chan been getting along? She has calmed down a lot after learning her lesson. If she ever gets ahead of herself again, I'm going to bring her to a temple to train as a monk. That's a good idea. I could introduce you to someone if that happens. Oh, I sold everything you bought for her. Here's the money. As for me, I've been doing really well since she stopped contacting me. Everything was going smoothly at work, too. Ichi, I heard you got another contract. Congratulations! Mika-san, thank you! Are you free today? Why don't we grab a drink together to celebrate? Oh, sorry. I don't have much on me today. <gasps> Mika-san is inviting me, but I hate credit cards! What are you talking about? I'll pay. Thank you. Let me pay you back the next time we go out together. The next time? Okay. 